You are now tuned in to the network, the YouTube channel that takes complex networking topics and dumbs it down to a more simple language. And today's topic is endpoints. This is a subsection of 1.1, explain the role and functions of network components. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exam blueprint to see where we came from and where we are headed. All right, so this is the exam blueprint we was working with, CCNA exam version 1.0. The exam code is 200-301. It's been a minute since we've done a video. Last video we did was uh, section 1.1C, next generation firewalls and IPS. We did the theory, but we did not do a hands-on uh, section for that. I'm still in the process of trying to get my hands on a demo for that. I'm in the communications with Cisco right now on getting that for a tutorial. So once I get my hands on that, we will get a video and I promise I got y'all, all right? So um, after that, uh, we've already did theory and hands-on section for access points as well as uh, controllers. Today, again, we're going to be doing endpoints. So what is an endpoint now that we're talking about it, right? It's simply put, it's basically a device that sends and receives traffic on the network, but they sit at the edge of the networks, right? At the very end of the network. That's why they call it endpoint. So it's something you're um, most likely familiar with. It could be a laptop, a cell phone, a tablet. It could be uh, you know, it, it could be your refrigerator or your TV. Those would be considered uh, smart devices, but they're also endpoints because they sit at the edge of the network and they send and receive traffic. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the official definition though. Endpoints, in networking jargon, a computer connected to a computer network is sometimes referred to as an end system or end station. That's another thing too. They, they have a lot of synonyms for this, right? You can call it an endpoint, an end station, an end system, a host, a, a node, a edge device, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, end of the day, they are called endpoints because they sit at the ends of the network. As you, if you look at this topology right here, we got this printer right here. We got this laptop right here. We got this tablet right here. We got these desktop PCs right here. They all sit at where? The edge of the networks, right? That's why they call them endpoints, right? These two desktop PCs right here, this server right here, those will be considered endpoints. These are labeled end systems because they sit at the edge of the network. Like I just said, the end user always interacts with these end systems. So, you know, you're, you're the coworkers, the people that are actually using these devices will be considered end users and the devices that they use, the computers, the laptops, the cell phones, whatever, they will be considered the, um, uh, the end devices, right? End systems are the devices that provide information or services. Now, this is as opposed to intermediary devices, right? So intermediary devices interconnect end devices or endpoints or uh, end systems or end stations or hosts or, or nodes, whatever you wanna call them, but at the end of the day, those sit at the end of the network as opposed to intermediary devices these devices provide connectivity and work behind the scenes to ensure the data flows across the network. So basically the devices that are not endpoints. So you look at this topology right here, we got these two switches right here. We got this, this is a layer two switch right here. Those are layer three. Remember we talked about what the difference between layer two and layer three switches are, right? We got these routers right here. Notice they sit on like the inside of the network. They are the ones that connect the end devices to the network or you know the the internet basically it, those are called the intermediary devices because remember what an intermediary is right it's like a third party it sits between the end device and the internet so they are called the intermediary devices right intermediary devices connect the individual hosts to the network and can connect and can connect got to break that down like my daughter do sound it out multiple individual networks to form an internetwork Here's a better, you know, here's another uh, graphic that, you know, separates all of those. Remember, those these devices are all interconnected with each other. But when we separate them, we have our end devices here, the desktop PC. We got the laptop, the printer, the telepresence, the telepresence endpoint, basically like a, a video phone. Uh, we have our intermediary devices will be the wireless router, the LAN switch, the router, firewall appliance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the, and the media that connects them, like the wires, the radio signals, the LAN and WAN media, the, the ethernet cables, those will be considered the network media, right? So this connects the intermediary devices to the end devices. And that forms 
our inner network or the internet. My dumb ass forgot the damn title of this slide right here. Anyway, now that we've discussed the difference between intermediary devices and end devices, let's go ahead and get our hands dirty with Packet Tracer and play with uh, end devices representing the network. All right, so here's the topology we're gonna be working with. It's basically the same topology that y'all seen in that graphic earlier. Again, we have our end devices right here. We got our home desktop, our laptop right here. We got the desktop right here. We got the inkjet printer. We got the server right here. All Remember, all the devices that sit at the end are considered the end devices, right? Or endpoints or hosts or network nodes, whatever you wanna call it. Now, this for this lab right here, there's no grading or anything like that. We're just gonna kind of discover the network and that's why they call it uh, representing the network right and we're not even going to go through it, it just got some basic questions here we're not going to go through all of them uh hopefully y'all are familiar with packet tracer if not you know i'll do a, a separate video on that but anyways we're just going to ask her a couple of these questions and just call it a night um identify the compo common components of a network as represented in packet tracer the icon toolbar has various uh categories of networking components so if you look right here we have notice right here it says network devices or you can call them intermediary devices we have our end devices right here so we click this right here these are our end devices or endpoints right pc laptop server meraki server printer ip phone again those are the end devices right we click this right here network devices these will be considered our intermediary devices right all the stuff that's on the inside now we got a tricky one i'm gonna show y'all in a little bit this is a router we got all these routers right here uh these switches right here would also be considered intermediary devices this bridge right here those would be considered intermediary devices as well uh list the intermediate device categories which we did already the intermediate device categories would be considered the network of devices which would be the routers the switches actually these access points right here wireless controller those would be considered intermediary devices without entering into the internet cloud or intranet cloud how many icons in the topology represent endpoint devices only one connection to them now that's a tricky one right um well that's not really a tricky one but i'm gonna show y'all a tricky one we got one the home laptop we got the tablet right let's go ahead and count three four right the modem will not be considered this will be considered an intermediary device right four five right this switch this is a switch that's not going to be one these are lap these are switches right here six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen we've got about 15 right here this router would not be considered an edge device even though it sits at the edge of this local area network right here it's not an edge device remember we said it's pretty much what the end user would be using the end user would not be using the router unless he's somehow trying to hack into the system or whatever right and notice here we got an ip phone that sits between the switch and this desktop pc right here the sales guy right now this is a tricky one because an ip phone you could use that as sort of a a, a junction or jumper between the two because right if you look at a behind i don't have an ip phone here but if you look behind an ip phone normally you'll have the cable that comes from like say the the wall jack to the back of the phone but you could also hook up your laptop or your desktop pc to the back of that phone so would an ip phone be considered an intermediary intermediary device say that five times or would it be considered an end device now it could be considered both because of the simple fact that you could use that as a intermediary device right because it's it, it has two connections as it said one to the pc or laptop and then one to the wall jack or in this case switch right here right so this would be considered now if, let's say if you don't have a desktop pc connected to the laptop right let's say we delete this guy i don't know if we could do it yeah we delete that guy out of the, the equation right now this phone would be considered an end device right so that's why i say an ip phone would be considered can be considered an intermediary device or an end device right so uh, what else they wanted to know here? Uh, we counted how many? I don't remember how many we counted. I guess that was like 11 devices. I don't know. Without counting the two clouds, how many icons in the topology represent intermediary devices, right? We said what the intermediary devices are, right? We said wireless routers, multi-layer switch, LAN switch, firewall appliance, router. Those would be considered intermediary devices, right? The devices that connect the endpoints or end stations or hosts or networks or, or nodes rather that's the devices that connects them to the internet right the intermediary devices how many we got here on this network here 
we got uh, one, this router right here, right? This is a Linksys router. We got this modem right here, two. That would be considered an intermediary device, right? He said, don't count these guys right here, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? This is a local area network right here. Uh, I lost count. <laughs> Let's count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Now we ain't gonna do these guys right here. Nine, 10, 11. That, that to me, if y'all if y'all disagree, go ahead and let me know. But I've counted eleven intermediary devices. If not, go ahead and rewind it or hit the dislike button. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Hit the like button. Matter of fact, hit the subscribe button if you like this video so far. Next question says, how many intermediary, how many intermediate devices are routers? Note. The Linksys device is a router. This was the Linksys device. So we got one, two, uh, three. I guess we only got three routers. I only see three routers here, right? One, two, three routers there. Yeah, so I counted just three. Next question, how many end devices are not desktop PCs, right? We're gonna just get to H and then that's it. We're gonna call it a night. Uh, not desktop PCs, right? So we got one, two, three, we got four, that's a desktop, five, six, seven, eight. Now the phones, I'm not gonna count because again, these would, could be considered in, intermediary devices, right? Because the phone, again, has, has two connections, even though I deleted one from over here. How many different types of media connections are used in the network topology? Now that's a lot, man. Now we've got wireless here, that's one. We've got some ethernet cables here, that's two. We've got some serial cables here, that's three. This is a modem cable. Uh, when it's blue and it has a lightning symbol, that's coaxial, so there you go. That's one, two, three, four media connections here, right? Why isn't there a connection icon for wireless in the connections category, right? So we look here, right, we've got, this looks like a connection, right? But this is considered a wireless. They, got, they had to figure out a way to kind of show you something wireless, right? They couldn't just leave it blank. I guess they could have, but how do you know if it's connected, right? Well, unless you grab that device. But anyways, uh, there's no wireless here because it, it, it's just wireless. You can't just like take the wireless symbol and connect it. You had to, they had to figure out a way to just show you wireless symbols here or, or at least wireless radio signals here. So that's basically why. Well, that is all I got for y'all today. That is my YouTube page. That is my Twitter handle. I also just opened up a uh, uh, Instagram account. I just haven't put it in this icon, uh, this slide right here. But uh, y'all can follow me on either of those social media platforms. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to try to do these more often. It's, you know, I've just been really, really busy on my job. I had a lot of projects and stuff like that. And, um, and I'm just still trying to get my hands on of um, uh, firepower but anyways go ahead and comment like subscribe to the network